friends, I am laid out today. It is Monday. Uh, last week was really super busy. If you saw my last video, it went very well, but we did the um, uh, double show Thursday, unusual for us, put in Friday with a new Doc Martin. It went very well, it went very well. Doc Martin, Doc Brown. What, what show do I work on? It's been a year, I tell you, I'm tired. Uh, went well, Saturday, two shows. Yesterday, a matinee also. Uh, noted lesbian Therese Hipkins and uh, our posse, Denise and Mayor, came to see the show yesterday. So uh, we went out after that. And I really, honestly, at dinner with them, I was a little like, am I dying? Am I going to faint? Am I going to faint walking home? Uh, got home and was like laid out. I really was like, am I sick? Am I getting sick? I'm fine today, but you know what? It's just uh, my track is busy. My show is busy. My HO week is busy and everything else I do around that. And I'm not young, so here it is. So anyways, uh, our theme today is old and, and new, uh, I guess. This t-shirt, which I am wearing, the, the photo on the, the beginning of this video is uh, a tie-dyed t-shirt that a friend of mine made when I was working at Phantom of the Opera, a, a friend there, Julie Schmidt, was doing tie-dyes, and she was doing these gorgeous tie-dyes. The thing is, I was like, I love your designs. I just like a specific tank top by Two Exist is the brand that I love. So if I get you tank tops, will you make for me? So yeah, sure. So that one that she made, which is in the picture at the beginning of this, it's at least 18 years old, maybe 17, but eight, like it's old. And I just wore it on Saturday and took a picture like before or after, because I am a wardrobe person. I know how to hand wash something delicately and all that stuff. So that's what I did. Oh, Lord, Roger Bart is calling me on my day off. Now what? Okay, back to this in a minute. As I was saying, <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I was talking about old things, new things. Uh, that, that tank top that, that I wear, yeah, I took a picture because like, if I literally, literally hand wash things gently and, and air dry them, and only every once in a while I'll put it in a dryer to shrink it up a little bit, but I've kept that, that tank top, which I adore, for 18 years. So, so there. This shirt that I'm wearing right now, this Disney Cruise Line shirt, I got this as an original cast member on Disney's first ship in 1997. It is thin, threadbare, awful. I love it. It's my Eaton shirt around the house. Uh, anyway, so there you go. That's my take on new clothes. I don't buy new clothes, but I did buy a new microwave. My microwave, which I've had, I'm going to say over 20 years, it has to be, when I'm thinking on it, mounted under the under the cabinet in the kitchen. Uh, the, the cancel stop button stopped working. So I was like, okay, like before anything else goes, it's time. It's had a good life. So I got one. Uh, of course, from Amazon that says includes under counter mounting. No, it didn't. It was a lie. No, it didn't. And I read the wording. I'm like, no, it says includes and it doesn't. <sighs> Got the hardware to, to because of course the hardware that I have under there, the, the, the brackets and the screws, they don't know. They don't fit the, the one that I have now. So, okay. Got that. I just went through living hell to get that thing mounted up under that cabinet. And I kept saying, I've done this before. I've done this before. I've done this before. It, it's, it's up there now, but the journey, I'm not going to bore you with the details of that journey. That was a week and a half of no microwave, the countertop covered in stuff, the microwave sitting on a stool with books under it to be up under close enough that I can see if I can figure out the line up the holes to drill the new holes to put the new... Ah. Anyways, we have a new microwave. It is my day off. I'm heading out to a meeting. I was going to go to the gym after. I'm going to drop things in a locker, but I have a feeling I'm not going to end up going to the gym. I'm beat. Maybe I'm not going to go. I'm going to see how I do after the meeting. Meeting, some little bit of lunch. The heat has broken. It's a lovely breezy day, and it's mostly cloudy, which is also beautiful. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And uh, hand wash your clothes. That's my message of love for you today. Epilogue. I did not, in fact, go to the gym, um, but I did want to say that when Roger Barr calls me, it's actually a really good thing. I didn't make it, I didn't want it to sound like, now what does he want? We, I love to talk to Roger, and of course we had day off things to talk about from a busy week last week, so it's always fun. We always have too many things to say to each other, so he is actually a joy to speak with any time, any day. So I wanted to be very clear about that. I only wish any of you uh, a coworker like Roger Barr a friend and a co-worker like Roger Bart, who is just nonstop fun to be with and to discuss with. Um, and yeah, no, I went, I went to my meeting. I sat outside. I had a nice lunch. The day is gorgeous. I went, did my grocery shopping so I could make some dinner for tonight. Isn't this the most tedious life today? 
Um, it, the point being, I went right into that gym. I picked that shit up out of that locker and I carried it right up here. And now, as you can see from this position, I'm getting ready to take the longest of naps. And then I shall rise and I shall throw out the box from the new microwave now that it's actually up and working. And I shall uh, have my day and night off and be okay with the fact that I'm just freaking tired. So there. In conclusion, still I say to thee, gently hand wash your clothes.